Now, there's a particular doctrine in law called res ipsa locator, and that's a Latin term that says the thing speaks for itself. This is a tool that attorneys love to get because it supplies proximate cause because under certain circumstances, negligence may be inferred in the absence of direct proof of negligent conduct. That is, because something bad happened and it's the type of bad that could only occur because someone else was negligent, then negligence will be inferred by those actions. And if we look at Douglas versus Board of Education, a student was sitting in her desk in a portable classroom and then the window that should have been properly installed collapsed and fell on her, uh, causing injury to her. Now, there's a, a great example of where we don't know who was negligent, but somebody obviously was negligent in installing the window, and somebody was negligent also in failing to inspect to make sure that it was properly installed. And in this case, the court allowed the doctrine of res ipsa loquitur to infer negligence and award the student damages for her injury. Now, most courts generally agree that they don't want to give plaintiff's attorneys a free ride. And so in order to infer negligence under the doctrine of res ipsa loquitur, the plaintiff must demonstrate that the event is of a kind which ordinarily does not occur except through the negligence or fault of someone. So in this case, windows don't fall on people unless they're not properly installed. The plaintiff must show that other responsible causes, including the conduct of the plaintiff and third persons, are sufficiently eliminated by the evidence. In this case, you would have to show that no one else pushed the window onto the student. And then finally, the plaintiff must show that the indicated negligence is within the scope of the defendant's duty to the plaintiff. And in this window case, clearly the school has a duty to provide facilities that don't collapse on students.